Hello. In the following tutorial, I will compare and update databases with data alterations. To illustrate this, I will simply make a few changes to table data in my developer database so that you can see how easy it is to automatically transfer these alterations to another database. I'll open the country table. The sample database, employee, is not exactly a modern example. Here, for example, you can see that European currencies are listed, which are totally out of date. So, I will alter the currency of those nations that have taken on the euro. These are all countries which now have the euro as their currency. You can make these changes directly in the table editor. Simply open the table editor by double-clicking on the table name country in the database explorer. Go to the data page and, similar to Excel and such programs, simply click on a field and alter it. Don't forget to commit the transactions at the end so that the alterations you have made are really written to the database. So, these alterations have now been written to the database. Now let's take a quick look at the production database's country table. Opening the table editor by double-clicking again on the table name. And taking a look at the table data. Here you can see that these are still the old, obsolete currencies that were replaced years ago by the euro. Theoretically, I could now open the production database and manually make the same alterations in the same table. But that would defeat the purpose of IB Expert. So, to update this data, I will open the IB Expert tool, Table Data Comparer. Again, I can drag and drop the production database, that is the target database where I wish to apply the alterations. The source is the developer database, and I simply wish to check the alterations in this table. I could, of course, mark all tables for content checking, but it isn't necessary here as I know that I have only made alterations to one table. On the options page, I could, for example, say, the processing records for insert should remain activated. For update, only those fields that were actually altered should be updated. Or process records for delete. When you wish to add new datasets and altered datasets to the target database, but do not wish to delete any existing datasets on the target database, then you should deactivate this. And here are a couple more options, which depend on what syntax you use. So, I'll start the comparer, and it's found six differences. IB Expert has automatically created a file, which I can now load into the script executive. Here we can see what has been inserted into this file. Again, the construction here is for the script executive. Whenever you want to execute more than one command at a time, use the script executive. If you only wish to execute a single command, use the SQL editor. So here you can see the SQL dialect specification, which affects numeric and date data types. Here I have specified that I do not wish to use a character set. And here is the client library. And here is the connection string to the target database, our production database. Then the following SQL commands are executed. The currency is altered to euros for Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands. 
and the transactions are committed. I'll now run the script and the alterations are written to the production database. If I run the table data comparison again, there are no longer any data discrepancies between the two databases. So, that is the interactive table data comparer, which you can use to compare data in the tables of two different databases. But important, please note that when working with very large tables, this tool requires a large amount of memory. It is therefore not a suitable solution if you are working with tables of 10 million datasets. In this case, you will need to use another method available in IB Expert using scripts and working with cursors. But I'll deal with that subject in another tutorial. Okay, that was the IB Expert Table Data Comparer. Once again, we hope you have learned something new and look forward to viewing our next tutorial, IB Expert User and Grant Managers. Goodbye from all of us at IB Expert. Thank <laughs> you.